What is going on, everybody? KJ Wiggums back with another episode on Westby, Wisconsin. This is Saving Paps Farm. How is everybody doing? I hope you are all doing well. So, we are on our way back to the farm. We had just sold all of our produce this morning. I still have to sell the milk. But on my way into the uh, sell point there, I had noticed a for sale sign up here. And I saw a harvester that was for sale. So I wanted to swing by on the way back and show you guys what I found. And possibly we can work out some kind of deal and get ourselves a second combine for the farm because we are definitely struggling uh, when it comes to harvest season. So right up here, you can see the for sale sign there. We'll pull over just in the grass right here in case anybody comes by. But you can see the for sale sign right here behind the bush, but then up here you also see another one with the combine up here as well. So let's take a look and see what we got. She is definitely, oh, they're both in rough condition. This is a, what is this, a 4420 with a 15 foot header. This is a 215, that's a 15 foot, just under 15 foot header. Uh, definitely looks to be in some rough condition. I don't know uh, everything uh, that's going on here, but maybe we can take a look around. They look like they just probably came in from doing some harvesting this year as well. well that's a nifty way to store everything. I like that little shed. We got their wet cake, their cracked corn, that barley. Yep, barley there. Some cows. Let me see if I can find anybody. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't see anybody here. Hmm. Let me go back. Let me see if there is a number on this sign, maybe we can call somebody. We can go from there. Yeah, perfect. All right. All right, put that number in my phone. We will give them a call and we'll see what's going on with that 4420. Maybe we can pick it up for a pretty decent price. Um, like I said, it looks like it's in pretty rough shape, so maybe they don't want too much money for it. That would be uh, that would be ideal for sure. Anything we can do to save a little bit of money, but still continue to grow the farm. Uh, we talked about it a couple episodes ago where we were going to buy another combine. We were looking at getting something bigger, but... I don't think I want something bigger. I think if we can pick that up for a decent price, it's pretty wore down. So hopefully, you know, we're not paying a lot, but it would definitely help when it comes harvest time. And we could always uh, look around and see if we can find another corn head as well. But we could continue to use the New Holland to do the corn. And then we could go out and start hitting our ear corn and stuff like that, which would still save some time. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm not sure what I want to do here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back. We'll hook up, get the milk tanker hooked up, and we will get all of that stuff uh, down to the sell point, make a little bit of money. I'll try to call that guy in the meantime and see if he answers, and then we'll see what happens from there. 
All right, so I sent the guy a text. I uh, told him that we were interested. He has my number. I have not heard back from him yet, but we'll have to, at this point, just wait and see what happens with that. It'd be pretty cool if we could get ourselves a, another combine uh, before the barley comes in. Uh, just because that one field is a pretty decent sized field, you know, we can have one work that field and the other, we, you know, we could test that 4420 on the smaller field uh, and kind of just go from there and see how all of that goes. Um, we are looking for a pretty decent day today. They're not calling for any snow. They are calling for snow again tomorrow. I did end up uh, getting a, another field mulched yesterday. We did have some downtime and we didn't have any snow. So I will put up, I did a little montage on that. Um, I think once we get this milk sold, we see how much we bring in from this. We'll throw up that montage and we will see, um, where we're going to go from here. I think what I'm going to do is we are going to jump in and we'll probably take care of one or two fields. Maybe we'll go over to the uh, to the smaller fields and see about getting them knocked out. And then I have to go through, I'll have to check the um, nitrogen and pH level of everything as well and see where we're at with all of that. I guess I'd like to get a good portion of that stuff done before we, uh, you know, come into planting season uh, for corn and our soybeans again. You know, we're looking at April for soybeans. Corn is April as well, but like we did last year, we're going to get our soybeans in first just because I'd rather have the soybean straw over the corn stalk bales um, but we'll just wait and see what happens so while I take this load back we will go ahead I'll throw up that montage and then I'll meet you guys back at the farm so enjoy the montage Listen, I really hope you enjoyed that time lapse. And I'm not going to lie to you. I think I recorded that time lapse now. It would have been three or four days ago. I have been spending a lot of time uh, just hanging out with my kids. And we've been watching some City Skyline videos on YouTube. Uh, the new City Skylines is coming out. I love that game. It's probably my second favorite game compared to, you know, Farm Sim. So we've just been watching some videos and stuff like that on that. Uh, kind of just been hanging out and chilling this whole week. Um, but now I'm getting to a point to where I am due for a video. This video comes out tomorrow at the point of me recording this part. 
Um, so I knew I had to jump on here and get all of this wrapped up. Um, that's why there was no live stream this past week. Um, I just, yeah, like I said, truly been hanging out with the kids and we've just been enjoying our time and everything together. So I hope you guys understand. I know you do. Uh, you guys tell me all the time, so I do appreciate it. But we are going to get into doing a couple more uh, fields while we have some decent weather out here. Uh, we don't have any snow coming as far as I know right now. Um, so that'll be nice uh, to be able to get hopefully these four fields down here done. Um, and move into I guess really just getting through until springtime. It'll just be me taking care of the cows and stuff like that until spring comes. We can get our first cut on our alfalfa. And then getting into harvest with uh, harvesting the barley. So, yeah, things are moving along pretty great. I'm pretty excited about it. The channel has taken off again. We're sitting at about another... 20 subscribers in the last two or three weeks uh getting ready to break that 800 uh sub mark which is uh super cool i appreciate each and every one of you guys i think y'all are awesome and i really really appreciate the support so thank you for that um but i think like i said you know i've just been doing a lot of time and stuff like that with the family so I think what I'm going to do, I don't, I don't know, like, here's what I'll do. Let me do a little bit of this field and then, or these fields, uh, we'll get these knocked out this video. That way they're all squared away. But what I'll do is I'll jump back in here in a little bit when we are a little closer to being done. All right. So we got another field done and we have one more field left to do. In the meantime, while I was working on these fields, I did a time lapse on that big field over there. So while I finish up this field, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up a quick time lapse for you guys to see that field getting done, and then we will come right back in. So enjoy the time lapse. Alrighty guys, so check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse first off. Uh, second off, I got a text back from the guy with the 4420 and unfortunately he sold it. So uh, he just didn't take the signs down. So unfortunately we missed out on that. It was a beautiful little tractor or harvester, but unfortunately for us, uh, that's a no-go for the 4420, so we'll have to keep our eyes out. I did talk to him. He did let me know of a guy that had a international harvester um, for sale. So I don't think we're going to get to it in this episode. I think maybe at the beginning of next week we can go down and take a look at that. And he also let me know of a, another guy that had a harvester for sale. Uh, but it was a little bit older than that 4420 and a lot smaller. But I don't think I'm going to give any details away on that. I think I'm going to make you guys wait and we'll possibly go check that one out uh, next week um, on one of the videos as well. Uh, so... Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, I know I've said it numerous times throughout this video. And last, thank you for all the new subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are, you know, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what farm you're working on. Let me know what you guys are getting into. I truly, truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. 
I'll catch you guys next week. Maybe we'll do a live stream Monday or Tuesday next week. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But until next time, thank you guys. Be safe. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. As always, 